Alicia Tucker, better known as the Networkers Networker. I am married, I'm happily married, 13 years uh, this year, and my company is First Class Consultant. Uh, what I provide is business networking, marketing, and business consulting to entrepreneurs and business owners. Hi, I'm Cynthia Miller. I'm an author. I'm the writer of the true crime book in rare form. It's a life story. I'm single. I live in Arizona. I'm originally from Michigan. I've lived in California, Oklahoma, and several other places. Um, my mission is to get my word out to as many people as I can so that I can help women to walk through the tunnels. Hi, my name is Laura Bullock. I just celebrated my eighth year wedding anniversary this year. And I am the founder and CEO of Hope's Crossing, a reentry organization providing support to women that are in transition from traumatic experiences in their life. Hi, it's Real Women Reveal, back on the set. We got our three lovely ladies with us, and we're going to be talking about positives and sisterhood relationships. What does that look like? I love each other, but we want to see what positives and sisterhood relationships look like. So I thought it was a really good idea to do that because we do know that women can be catty with each other. We, that's just real. We know that. But there are a lot of positives in sisterhood, and we need to make sure that uh, we express that and show that to you, too. So what I'm going to do first is I just want to go around and ask the ladies and find out maybe how long they had some friendships going, just to see what that looks like. So we'll start. Actually, I have a just a very, very strong friendship a friend of mine, her name is Anna, uh -huh. and we've actually been friends, we were counting the other day, almost 20 years. All right, 20 years. And she has been with me, she was with me through the storm, and she was actually the first one of our friend out of us to make it out of the tunnels, okay. out of the dark tunnels of addiction. And she reached out for me and she waited for me, and when I made the decision to take that step, she was there to pick me up. And we are very good friends. She's on my page sometimes making little quirk comments, but <laughs> that's because she can. She's been my best so that's 20 friend years. for 20 years. Okay. What about you, Laura? You know, I, I, I have friendships that are a little bit different. Okay. Um, I make, I build really strong, solid relationships, but they don't necessarily have to have constant contact. Right? Okay. So I have a friend. Her name is Yolanda. And we've been friends for about 20 years as okay. well. Okay. We've uh, worked in the healthcare industry for a number of years, and so we really made a solid connection, and that friendship is really strong and solid. And, um, and then a new friendship that is about four years old, okay. more faith-based friendship that um, really brings a different dynamic to the, to the friendship and the sisterhood. Okay. Um, but that one is a little bit more stronger, a little bit more intense, because we're both going on a journey together, okay. and right. so that, that brings a different type of bond. Okay, so 20 and 4 in, in, in a different realm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about you, Michelle? Yeah, I have a couple of uh, <laughs> strong relationships. Um, one specifically that goes the furthest is one of my BFFs, <laughs> and on Facebook we're all always BFF and ever. My girl, Wendy Martin, I was uh -huh. born in L.A., and we linked up at 5. Yeah, okay. So my hey, birthday's um, coming up um, next month. Okay. We both will be 39. Okay. So our wow. friendship has turned over 34 years. Okay. Wow. Wow. You know, she's been, we've been through it all from elementary school to junior high to high wow. school to kids <laughs> to marriages. Right. And, you know, and like you said, um, with the lapse in communication because I relocated to yes. Arizona and she still lives in L.A., but our chemistry and our friendship stands the test of time. We can go right. weeks, days, months, years. Mm -hmm. We never went years, but <laughs> we could without any communication. As soon as we connect, whether it's Facebook, phone, face to face, it's like we're 12 years old. And all stop. all right. over again, yeah. like no time has left. And I have some other really good girlfriends that are actually in Arizona that I've been friends with since um, I got out of high school. So that stems, uh, my daughter would be 20 this year, she's 20 years old. Yeah. Um, you know, real good sisterhood and friendship that have always been there for me personally, seeing me mature, seeing me grow into a social entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and just loving that sisterhood. So obviously, uh, it goes to you, okay. and being, bringing this 
platform together because I think definitely, especially for Arizona, mm -hmm. that is Absolutely. so critical yes. to be able to get to the, to understand what the problems are so that we can be solution oriented yes. to bring that camaraderie, to bring that sisterhood, to bring that community yeah. that's so much needed a sisterhood in Arizona. Community. It's yes. not the community yes. that we need. Really. We need our own city called Sisterhood Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Facebook page. Okay, right, right. okay. Facebook page. Sure, I've been up by <laughs> noon. <laughs> <laughs> but let me think. I, my friendships stem back probably. I had high school friendships, so over 30 years. We had our 30 year class reunion, so over 30 years. And then I had friends. Uh, my daughter's 20, so that's how I figure out too. I had friendships that are like 20 years old, and, and they live in California. Uh, then I have my other girlfriend that live in Gary, Indiana. My girlfriend Jackie and Jaya and Sunny and Star. They all live in California. But um, I think our relationship, and I want to ask you ladies too, I think it stems from, and we don't have to talk all the time, but a lot of what I think a lot of sisterhood is non-judgmental. Yes. It's non-judgmental. Absolutely. We Absolutely. grow. So you got to think 20, 30 years ago, I was in my 20s, and we all know what that's about. <laughs> yes. so, so it's non-judgmental right. to, to have a lasting friendship um, that I think for us has been non-judgmental. Sometimes just listening, you know, I just call and got it out. And then after I finish listening to all my babbling, she may tell me something traumatic. I'm like, I done went on all this time and you done, but it was the listening ear. It well, was and the it's listening. the journey of, of that expression, right? That's important. So what in your own friendship do you feel, I know I talked about non-judgmental, but what do you think probably is the core of why that friendship has lasted so long? I think we both just have a good heart, you know, and, the, and when you have a good heart, you can invite people in. Mm -hmm. And so when you're able to do that, non-judgmental, mm -hmm. and then be real with each other, mm -hmm. and, and, and we use that term really real. loose, right? right? Be real, <laughs> be with, real each other. with right? But, but truly be able to say what you're feeling, what mm -hmm. you're experiencing, and that person be able to listen to you and say things when they need to and don't say anything when they need to. Right. That's, right. I think that's where the core of that friendship is, and we have that with one another. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, 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 that's truly, that's very true. I think that one of the most powerful things, and my friend also lives in California, and sometimes I go there and then don't stop by, you know? <laughs> yes, oh yeah, that's you know, very just be slow. Yeah, but, but you know, but when I do stop by, it's not even needed for me to call or anything, you know? But I think one of the things that really bonded our friendship was the ability to hold each other's tears. We were together through a very, very rough, rough time in both of our lives. And even after, and I remember even after she made the choice to change her life, and I had not made that decision yet, she wrote me a letter one time that I still have to this day. I have it framed up in my bathroom. And in the letter it said, how could someone who has been such a good friend to me not be a friend to herself? Mm. She said, how can someone who has loved me for so many years not love herself? And until you can find the strength to love you, I just want you to know that I love you enough for both of us. Oh, Call me so know. I can pull you out. I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still yeah here. so I have always kept that because it was a turning point for me in sure. my life. Sure. Because of someone reaching out telling me, even if you don't care enough about you, I care enough about you for both of us. Amazing. Call me and let me pull you out the storm. Awesome. And awesome. I made that call. That's awesome. amazing. What about you, Michelle? What do you think has been kind of that core uh, for the lasting friendship? And actually, I'll, I'll come back and ask, but I want to put this out so you guys can think about it. If someone asked you, like me, <laughs> What does sisterhood mean to you? If you were just somewhere and you didn't just caught you in the grocery store, what does sisterhood mean to you? But I'll come back and get that, okay. your definition okay. of that. Because it may be different. I gave you that, that, just that little warning this time. But yeah, what's been the core, do you think, the lasting of your friendship? I think the, the, the core, I mean, you ladies touch on a lot of good being real and not judgmental. Mm -hmm. And I just think on a personal level, it's like she know me. You know what I mean? She know the real me. She no, know right. the Facebook Michelle or the network. Right. She I am as an individual. I I so that's where the non-judging mm -hmm. and really just being unconditional. Mm -hmm. And you know, I can come to her on any level of whatever's going on in my life. Sure. And I know I can just be 
organic with her. I can just she know me. Yeah. So it's like I don't have to, you know, put up a front. I don't have to give you half the information. Like I can come and be authentic and because she know me, mm -hmm. know my heart, know my mm -hmm. spirit, know, right. my, know who I am. I think that has been a core that regardless if it's good, better, or different, you know, I don't think I'm perfect. I know I make mistakes. But because she know me, mm -hmm. I think that has been one thing that has resonated with our sisterhood and our friendship that has kept me glued to wanting to invest into keeping and nurturing that relationship, which is still almost 30 plus years. Sure. Right. Yeah, and you mentioned something too, Laura, about they, they know they know your heart. Yes. So mm -hmm. yes. and I and I think about that too with uh with uh with with, with my friend uh back in Gary and I was just thinking even with Real Women Reveal starting and uh, she wasn't here to, you know, assist me with that, I just get a phone call out the blue. What do you need for me to do? Right. How mm -hmm. can I help you right. here in Indiana right. with Real Women Reveal? Sure. What do I need to do? Mm -hmm. And like you said, they, she knows me. <laughs> She's been knowing me since I was 14 years old. She knows the real me. And, you know, it's the core of me, like you said, the Facebook me or, the, or, or whatever. Right. You just know me. Uh -huh. You know my heart. You know what it is. Even if I may get angry or somebody said, you know my heart, you know what I'm about. So I'm going to ask you, I'll start with you, Cynthia. So if you're in a grocery store and somebody asks you, what does sisterhood mean to you? What does it mean to you? Me, myself, I think that sisterhood is a commitment, number one. It, it's a commitment. It's something I believe It's a relationship. It's yes. A, yeah. and, I, and to me, sisterhood is, and I'm just putting it out there, but this to me, this is what it is. To me, even like, just like Michelle, I, I don't know her very, very, very well, but we have a sisterhood. If I'm on Facebook and I see she's having an event, I'm up, uh, oh, okay, let me, uh, uh, okay, I ain't going to be able to make it. I got to go to Michelle's event. I got to support her. Sure. This is a sisterhood. Or share. Right. Right. Maybe I share and support her. I'm going to come there and get up and show up. You know what I mean? If she has something, if you have something going on, I'm going to get up and show up. And if I have something and I... I, you ladies get up and show up. You know right. what I mean? I'm gonna support. When I go to her, I, I go to her event. We went to an event together. They, she knows I'm about. Okay, I know you get ready to go. Go with your books. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a sisterhood. She knows what I'm here for. I know what she's here for. And even though we, I feel as though I could call. I could call you, Audrey, in the middle of the night. I've spoken to you before. And tell you, you know, I'm so tired of doing this grind by myself. Mm -hmm. Both of you ladies are married. But I'm myself and my own person, all of you are married. I'm my own person and independent person. So sometimes it gets so hard for me to do this grind sure. and come home and not be able to share my triumphs mm -hmm. as well as my, you know, my but, disappointments right. with someone. And I think I could call Audrey and say, you know, I'm so tired of doing this by myself. And she would listen to me. Sure. That's what sisterhood is about is that. Hey, I'm over here on, you know, 151st Avenue, and I forgot my wallet. Well, let me tell them I'm going to have to be back at the office. I'll be right over. Right. right. <laughs> okay. Right. That's what I think, sister. So, so I have something more. Right. So you have these relationships, yes. that, relationships. that have a level of accountability mm -hmm. to one another. And it's, it's mm -hmm. you know, again, that commitment. Right. But you're saying, because I care about you as a person, I'm going to invest in you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be accountable for your success because mm -hmm. I have something mm -hmm. to lend to you as a friend. Um, and then to be able to do that with integrity. So right. you do that wholeheartedly, 100%. You know, you don't say it and don't do it, right? right? So you say it and you do it. Your actions and your words match in that relationship mm -hmm. and in that, in that, you know, investment. Yeah. So it's really, it's, it's, on a deeper level, an investment uh -huh. in the people that are a part of your sisterhood. Right. Because right. when you invite those individuals in, you're taking responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, and you have to really treat it that way. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, like with the women in our program, mm -hmm. it's it, I, I'm assuming a responsibility to them oh, yeah. to to join them on this journey of transformation. Mm -hmm. And who am I to say? You know, I'm going to bring you into our community. Right. We have a community of hope. Right. I'm going to bring you into our community, but then I don't support you. Right. I don't right. invest in you. I don't right. make a commitment to you. Believe in you. You know, I don't believe in you, and I don't. I don't invest mm -hmm. in your right. transformation. Right. Right. So I think it's you know it's it's almost spiritual to a point mm -hmm. because you have to invest in that person 
in order for that transformation to take place or that friendship to, to yeah. really blossom. Yeah, that's why I say it's a relationship. It it's is. A, it's it is. a relationship oh. as your marriage or yes. whatever. It's yes. a rela It really is, like to me on the deeper scale, it's a relationship mm -hmm. if you plan on really having that bond. And I'll come back and kind of touch on my definition.